In this video, we're going to complete example one, and we're going to learn how to multiply thirds. Now, when you multiply thirds like this, it works in the same way as when you multiply algebraic expressions. So let's take, for example, 2a times 3b. What do we do when we multiply expressions like this? Well, the first thing we do is we multiply the whole numbers. 2 times 3 will give us 6. The second thing we do is we multiply together the pronumerals. a times b will give us a, b. When we multiply the thirds below, we're going to basically be following the same steps. We start by multiplying the whole numbers together, and second, we're going to multiply the thirds together. So we'll start with question A. For question A, we don't actually have any whole numbers, so we can go straight into step 2 and just multiply the thirds. 10 times 5 is 50, so we're going to get the square root of 50. Now, when you read the example, it actually tells you to simplify the following. So after multiplying together our thirds, we need to simplify this. So I need to split this third into two. I'm going to split it into the two thirds, the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 2. 25 times 2 is 50. Now, 25 is a perfect square. So the square root of 25 will give me a nice whole number. Of 5. I then need to multiply this by the square root of 2. So I simply write the square root of 2 next to it. Let's now move on to question B. We'll start by multiplying the whole numbers. 2 times 4 will give us 8. We'll now multiply the thirds. Root 6 times root 12. 6 times 12 is 72. So we get the square root of 72. We now need to simplify this. So we're thinking of a perfect square that fits into 72. Now I know that 9 fits into 72, which is a perfect square, but there's actually a bigger perfect square I can fit into this. 36 fits into 72 as well. So I'm going to rewrite this as 8 times the square root of 36 times the square root of 2. 36 times 2 is 72. Now, because 36 is a perfect square, when I square root it, I get a nice whole number of 6. 8 times 6 is 48, so we get 48 root 2. Now, moving on to question C. This time you'll see that we have a set of brackets. When you expand a set of brackets in the algebra topic, you simply take the term to the left of the brackets and you multiply it by each term inside the set of brackets. And that's exactly what we're going to do when we work with thirds. So we'll start by taking root 3 and multiplying it by 3 root 6. You'll notice we've only got one whole number, the 3. So I'll write that down first. We then take the second step and multiply the thirds together. Root 3 times root 6 is the square root of 18. We will now multiply the square root of 3 by our second term, which is actually negative square root 3. Now 3 times 3 is 9. So we're going to get minus the square root of 9. Okay, we still need to simplify our expression. So what two numbers multiply to make 18? Well, 9 times 2 is 18. So we will write this as 3 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And we can do this because 9 times 2 is 18. What about the second term here? We have the square root of 9. Well, 9 is already a perfect square. So when I square root it, I get a nice whole number of 3. Okay, so then we have 3 times 3, because 9 is a perfect square, the square root of 9 is 3, times the square root of 2 minus 3, and then 3 times 3 is 9, so we get 9 times root 2, or 9 root 2 minus 3. All right, we'll now move on to question D. Once again, we take the term to the left of the brackets, 
and multiply it by each term inside the brackets. 2 root 5 times 3. So we multiply the whole numbers first. 2 times 3 is 6. And there's only one third, the square root of 5. So we just write that next to our 6. Now we will multiply 2 root 5 by 5 root 10. 2 times 5 is 10, so plus 10. And the square root of 5 times the square root of 10 will give us the square root of 50. We now need to simplify this. Now I can't simplify 6 root 5, but I can simplify the second term here. We're going to split this into 10 times the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. We are allowed to do this because 25 times 2 is 50. Moving on to our next line of working out, 6 root 5 plus 10 times 5, because the square root of 25 is 5, times the square root of 2. And then our final line of working, 6 root 5 plus 50, because 10 times 5 is 50, and we'll write next to that our root 2. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.